D, wait for it. Wait for it. You got the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? So, just finished Loki, uh, episode four. And I have to admit, this episode was way better. It was better than episode three, which uh, was not a hard... It's not a hard bar to uh, 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 surpass because they've set the bar pretty low. Uh, I have not liked this show uh, <laughs> since it started. But this episode was pretty good. Like, it was... Excuse me. It was okay. It's not my favorite show. Like, it's not my favorite thing ever. But I'll tell you right now, I think Loki with this episode is turning out to be a lot better than the other two shows that they put out Disney uh, or Marvel Disney or whatnot that shows. But whatever, it's fine. Um, and I think, listen, Tom Hiddleston is a very good everybody in this uh, show. Well, not everybody, but uh, the two, uh, him and um, Owen Wilson are very good actors. Uh, and we're going to talk about them in just a minute because something happens to both of them that I was kind of a little bummed about, but at the same time, very like, because now finally I want to see the next episode. Beforehand, I was like, I don't care. Like episode one through three, I literally was just like, all right, I don't care if I see the rest of this show. But this one, I was like, all right, now I want to see what's going down because I, I have theories, but I don't want to say anything because WandaVision, the WandaVision fucked me up like so hard. And I, I hate putting out theories now because it's like, you know, whatever you put out, it's not going to happen, whatever you want. So just, just prepare yourself. <laughs> so why don't we get into, um, breaking down this episode um because some a lot of things that were in this episode i liked and i wish they would have done more of but i get it why like budget wise can be a little bit in you know iffy or whatnot all right so it starts off where we got we go into asgard and i loved seeing asgard i love asgard the way they've done it in the marvel universe it's beautiful i personally during the thor movies i don't think they spent enough time on asgard in my opinion especially seeing like the inner workings of asgard but i understand why they didn't so we see um sylvie as a child and she's playing so we get kid loki yay um and everything but uh so she's playing with her toys and i think that i thought that was pretty cool and then the tva shows up and we see uh manager bitch face i don't remember her name in the the show uh, um uh Batuwa Batura I think is the actor's name or whatever that's her last name I don't remember her first name doesn't matter anyway so she shows up and she's like there's the variant and everything so they grab her and then they destroy her timeline which I was like oh bummer so they bring her to the TVA and everything and she's just a kid she's like what's going on here she goes through the whole process she's about to go in front of the judge and she you know steps on uh this chick's foot and steals her little uh boop 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 thingy and goes through a portal and then flashes to her in front of the timekeeper's uh uh elevator so she's on the elevator and she goes in and you don't see the timekeepers but she's like oh they are very mad they are angry and he's like it's not your fault and they're like yeah but they blame me they're like and she's like you don't know what it's what it's like for them to to keep the time stream in order and all that stuff and w when this started i was all like first off they're not going to show the time keepers or whatever they're called the time lords and i was like if it's just going to be enough just more talky talky i'm going to get mad because this show is just that's all it is is two people sitting next to each other talky talky and yeah it's good conversation which i've always been like hey if you put two people in a room having a conversation but this the writing is good then I can sit for that. But the thing about this is it's just the writing's good, but it's like, it goes on way too long, but not in this episode, last episode for sure. But this episode, they, they crunched it down. I was like, hey, thank you. So they're sitting here talking. They're like, we need to find them. And so I took way too many screenshots of this conversation. But so then we go back to Loki and Sylvie and they're on that planet that they were on in the last episode and it's getting destroyed by the moon. You hear people screaming and everything and they're just chilling. They're just sitting here talking and she tells how she's like, you know, I've been on the run since I was a child. Um, you know, at first, uh, wherever I went, I caused um, a, a nexus event. And then they'd come and they'd destroy that timeline. So then, but then I found out that I could hide in these apocalyptic events. And that would, I would be safe there. So then, so then she, she's all like um, sitting there and everything and 
you know, uh, he, I can't remember everything that they talk about here, but it doesn't even matter. So then we go back to the TVA and they're trying to find him and everything. That says, but then uh, as it go, uh, like he he says something along the lines of like you know basically he, that she's awesome, and uh and and oh and one thing that he did say was like are we always destined to lose and I thought that was interesting. Um, he might not have said it here. I don't know. I don't care. It doesn't matter that part. So then they so then they they grab hands and I think that that the nexus event there was they were falling in love. I don't know. Gosh, ugh, if I'm wrong, whatever. I don't care. But they fall in love and that was the thing that set off the little spike. So then they're sitting there and that comes and they they get two doors and they go through the doors and they get arrested. So he and he says his line like how come I don't get as many guards? This is insulting and everything. They go into their little their little theater and he puts him into a cell. But before he does, he's all like, is there anything you want to say? And he's all like, the time, the TVA is lying to you. Throws him in this time loop of Sif, which again, really nice to see Sif come back because a small piece of me was scared that they wouldn't bring this actress back. I don't remember her name because um, she did Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Now, real quick, uh, Jeff Loeb did all the Marvel TV shows. And he didn't do a too a, a bad job, except for Inhumans was awful. Don't watch that show. Like, skip it for real. But uh, uh, the rest of them, like, they're okay to, like, you know, some stuff's not that great. But he did, you know, a decent job at least. Go watch Daredevil. Daredevil's great. Um, so she, and I was afraid that she would never come back to the MCU because Kevin Feige was mad that she did Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And he's all like, fine. And then she went off and did another TV show because they weren't using her character and everything. And, and then I was afraid that she died in the MCU, but she is coming back for, uh, Thor Love and Thunder, I hear. So yay. And everything. So she shows up here, which I was super happy about to see her. And he's stuck in a time loop, like prison. And she just beats him up and she's just like you and you cut off my hair or whatnot. And she's like, you will always be alone kind of thing. And then at one point he stops her and he says, uh, oh, well, he doesn't do it here. But so then he goes to, uh, God, I can't remember her character's name. It doesn't matter. And he's all like, I got him in a cell. I want to interview the other Sylvie. And she's like, you're not going to interview Sylvie. And he's all like, why not? This is my thing. And she's like, you focus on your Loki. And he's all like, and he's very much like, why? He's like, he's he's questioning this whole thing because he's like, why are you not letting, and then letting me interview Sylvie and, uh, and everything. So then we go to Agent Bitchface and she turned out to be, uh, she turns out to be a decent human being because uh, she's, because because Sylvie touched her and invaded her, I'm going to fix this um she now she could see something in her head so she's questioning everything kind of thing but she's so she comes in here and she's all like uh i told you we should have destroyed him or something like that and she's like what happened to the other agent that got touched in the head and he's all like oh she's like uh she's doing fine or something like that i can't remember what he said and uh she's like what did he say to you and he's like the tva can't be trusted and so then back at this civ comes in he's like civ uh um, I am, a, uh, I, uh, um, uh, it's something about like, I do this for attention because I'm scared to be alone. And then she picks him up and she's like, you are alone and everything. And you always will be or something like that. So then he comes in and he takes him back into the room. He's like, all right, you want to, you want to talk and everything. So then he tells him, well, um, you know, uh, that, He's like, this was all my plan. You know, I, I, you know, I, uh, she came to me, uh, in a, uh, thing, uh, when I was a child and we, I hatched this plan. And he's like, okay, well, you don't have to worry about her because she's been killed. All right. She's been deleted. Ding, ding, deleted. And he's all like, what? And everything. And he's all like, oh, you're in love with her. You're in love with yourself. You're such a narcissist that you fell in love with a copy of yourself. And, um, or he says you like or whatever. Anyways, so, uh, and then he's all like, you're all variants. He finally tells him the truth. You're all variants. This is a lie and everything. And uh, hold on. And then he's like, all right, go sit in the cell a little bit more. So then she's sitting here questioning stuff and she looks and then she gets her wand and she goes in to talk to Sylvie because she's all like, all right, I've had enough of this. And she plays it off. And she's like, come with, come with me if you want to live. Not really. So then uh, they, they go through the portal and everything. Because Siv thinks that she's going to kill her and everything. 
So then these two are sitting in the office and they're celebrating. She signs the thing, which I think that pen, because she knows that they're variants, but that pen is from her past. That's why, because he asked about it in episode three, I think. Whatever, yeah, that boring episode. Maybe it was episode two. Who knows? Anyways, so then uh, they're sitting there talking and long story. Oh, she's all, she asks him, if you can go back to any, if you go to any time, what would you, where would you go to? And he's all like, I can go back to, I can go to any time I want. And she's like, yeah, but you know what I meant. And he's like, I don't know, kind of thing. He gives the lamest answer. And he's all like, why wouldn't you let me do that? And I can't remember what she's, so why wouldn't you let me interview that, that other Loki? And I can't remember what she says. Um, sorry. It doesn't, it doesn't even matter what she says, like why she wouldn't do it. The, the, the truth is, is she wouldn't let him do it because it's all a hoax and she knows it is. So then he's all like, where are you going to put that? And he talk, points at the sword for her trophy kind of thing. And then while she's putting it up, he steals her personal little beep boop beep boop box. Uh, anyways. And so he's like, ooh, it looks good there and everything. I'm like, oh, get the, get the F out of here, dude. And then so he's like, all right, I'm going to call it a night. And she's like, you only had one drink. He's like, I had two. And he's all like, I'm just, I'm just tired. I'm like, dude stick around for one more drink. She's not going to pick up her little time pad and everything, but he, you know, lets the cat out of the bag because he's stupid and she gets, she's on to him at this point. So then she takes her B-15, takes her B-15. That's so funny. Takes her back to this, this neck, uh, this uh, uh, apocalyptic event and everything. She's all like, she's all like, well, you know, I saw memories. Those are my memories. She's like, you're a variant. We all are. And she's like, we're, we're like me and everything. And she's like, do it again. And then she touches her and goes, this is the problem that I have with the show. See our show. Don't tell. Okay. So right now they're not showing her memories. Cause she's like, I looked happy and everything. And she's like, what now? Um, and I wish they would have shown her memories. Cause I would have liked it. This actress I'm telling you right now, the, the actress that plays agent bitch face, I call her that because she's so angry uh, with the variants for no reason. Uh, but now she is a variant. So it's like you killed a lot of people and you're one of them. Um, but she, the actress that plays her, I love her. She's go watch the, the I mean, she's good in, in, um, uh, um, what's that HBO show? Uh, love, Cla love craft country. She's good in that, but she's the best in this movie called his, his house. So good, so scary. I was scared the whole time. I can't, I still get scared. I watched that movie twice uh, uh, and I was scared both times, <laughs> even though I knew what was happening. Anyways, she's so good. Anyways, so then uh, they, then we go back to the TVA. Sorry, I went off a little tangent. So we go back to the TVA and Owen Wilson, he searches her little thing and he sees the interview with that one agent. And she's like, I had memories. I was a person, I'm a variant. And he sees uh, whatever the one chick's name is in the video and everything. So he knows the truth. So he goes back here and he gets Loki and he's all like, all right, you know, we, what are we going to do now? Kind of thing. I don't remember what he says. Uh, sorry, I can't remember what everybody says, you know, verbatim. And they get back to the TVA as soon as they get back and she's waiting because she knew what was up. And I was like, dude, because you didn't play it off right. You got to play it off right. And he's all like, he's all like, um, you know what time I would have gone back to? I would have gone back to, you know, my whatever time I came from, my life, you know, where I probably had a jet ski. And it goes back to uh, episode two, where he had the magazine, the jet ski, and they talk about the jet ski and how it was the, probably the greatest invention ever created. And I was all like, that's really sad. That's really sad. And then she's like, purge him or whatever. And they purge him. And I was like, what? I was like, oh, my God, they killed Owen Wilson. He better come back. I'm telling you right now. If he doesn't come back for the last two episodes, what's the point? I'm mean, like, come on. I mean, it was, oh, I was like, bummer, man, that sucks. And so he's all sad about it. And he's like, she's like, take him to the door. I will be there shortly. And then she goes into her cell and sees that she's all wet. And she's like, who was in here? And he's like, B-15, B-15 came in and talked to her. I keep wanting to say B-52 is like the band, like the, the band or whatnot. Anyways. Um, so then uh, she's all like, uh, put out an alert for B-15, find her and, you know, destroy her takes her to the elevator and she's like i have them now and everything puts them on the elevator and while they're on the elevator sylvie's all like what was the nexus event that caused you to come get me and destroy my whole world and she gets this shit eaten grin on her face and she's all like i don't remember and before that she was all like why do you want to know and she's all like it was enough to destroy my whole world and my life i want to know She's like, I don't remember. And I was like, oh, you fucking bitch. Like, she remembers. That's what the smirk was. She's like, oh, I know what it was. But I know the fact that 
me not telling you is going to torture you. And it does, because you see this look on her face. She's like, and and I think that she knows that she knows, but and I'm all like, because it's like, it's like uh, that line from that Mortal Kombat movie, uh, not Mortal Kombat, uh, Street Fighter movie, when he's all like, for you, for you, that that was your whole, that was the the moment that defined your life. And for me, it was a Tuesday. And I'm all like, so, uh, so they get up here and they go in and I thought they weren't going to show the Time Lords, but they go in and they show the Time Lords. I was like, oh, okay, they showed them. I was, I was like, good, because I was afraid that they wouldn't show them. Cause I was like, I, I hate when shows do that stuff. So they show them and they're talking to them and everything. I can't remember what they said, but they're all like, you know, you two and everything. And, uh, Sylvie's all like, I, I think that you're afraid of us. <sighs> Sorry. She's like, I think you're afraid of us kind of thing. And then they're like, you know, destroy them or whatnot. And then B-15, I didn't get a good screenshot, but B-15 comes in and she throws uh, Sylvie her sword and she's all like, for all time. And then they start fighting. And I think B-15 gets taken down by these two guards or whatnot. And so they start fighting, they're fighting and everything. And she fights her. He's fighting these two guards and everything, and they they uh, he kills these two, and she stops the one chick and everything. I can't remember her name, and she throws a sword up at the the oh the time lords are all like, hey, we can talk and we can work this out kind of thing, and she's all like, screw that. So she throws and she cuts off the 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 one on top its head, and the other two just start laughing. They're like, oh, ho, ho, ho. and then they go all like, the one. so then he's all like, look, they're animatronic droids. And I was like, ooh, very Wizard of Oz, love it. And she's like, what now? Who is doing this kind of thing? And so he's all like, Sylvie, I, I have to tell you something. And she's like, what is it? And everything. And he's kind of hesitant to tell her. And then he gets killed. He gets purged. And I was like, oh, no, they purged him. And of course, they didn't kill him because it, it's his show. A small piece of me was like, if they have Sylvie be the main character for the rest of the show, I'm going to be annoyed. Only because it's like, without Tom Hiddleston, what's the point? So then she's all like, oh, so then she defeats her pretty easily. Like her fight beforehand, this, she just like whirls around. And she's all like, and she's like, just do it and everything. And she's like, no, you're going to tell me everything, which I like her here with her wet hair. She looks a lot better when her hair is not wet. So then that's where the episode ends. Then we get to the post credit scene where, where he wakes up and he's all like, oh. he's like, and then he's like, am I in hell? And then you hear somebody go, no, but if you don't want to die, come with us. It's a very much like a come with us if you want to live kind of, of, of moment. And then we pop up to these guys. Now, I don't remember, I think Grant, E. Grant, I can't remember his first name, is the guy on the far, the guy in the yellow. And that's the original Loki and everything. Uh, looks goofy right there, but at the same time, I kind of like it. <laughs> so, and then in the middle, we have Kid Loki, which is the recent, uh, who, how he is in the recent comic books. And then we have this black guy, and I think that that's Thor because he's got that hammer. He's just a variant Thor. Now, I could be wrong about that. He could be another Loki, but I don't think he is. I think he's a, a variant Thor. And I think that this right here, what, what's going on here, this is where they send the variants when they purge them they don't kill them they purge them and a small piece of me thinks that they that uh, uh whoever is controlling this whole i think it's kang he comes in and he picks them out of obscurity and brings them back to the tva and then uh you know just purges their minds and they just start working for them again kind of thing but so that is where the, this episode ends and i have to say i liked this ending because I like seeing the different types of Lokis, possibly the different types of Thors. And I did think that it was good as far as that goes. Now, as far as the show goes, I think that it's it's gotten to the point now where I do, like I said before, I didn't want to see any of the uh, episodes. Like, I didn't care what happened. Like, I just really didn't care. But now I do care. I want to know what happens next week. I want to see what happens to these characters. As long as we don't get more talky-talky. Like, I can't, like... The talking is fine. It's just they take so long with these episodes and all they do is talk, 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 talk. And I'm all like, can we get to, you know, a little less talk, a lot more action? You know what I'm saying, dog? Um, but yeah, I liked this episode. It was okay. Uh, it was a lot better than episode three. But like I said, they hadn't really set the bar too high, in my opinion. And I can't wait to see the next episode.
So tell me, what did you guys think about this episode? Did you like this episode? Did you not like this episode? Did you think this was better than the other three episodes? Are you like me and you didn't care about the episodes previously, but this one really kind of set forth the fact that you really want to see what happens next? Or do you just not care? Do you hate this show? Who's your favorite character? Uh, all that good stuff. Go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go and hit that like button. You know, I won't mind. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys next week on my Loki breakdown and review. You guys have a good week. Bye.